Hello everybody, it's Nintendo Capri Zone, welcome you back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies in the survival mode. We are now going to the hard version of the pool! I me unplug my headphones there so I can hear what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Of course we also have an echo now. You know, echo! Echo! We come and we go, oh no I don't want to be just another echo, echo. Let's see. What shall I use? Let's get some cattails! There's some cattails! Yeah, alright. Get some cattails! Get those right there. And, uh, and Hana Penis. There we go. And I bought the rake! Yay, I bought the rake! So I don't have to worry about the stupid first zombies, whatever. Good grief. Everything in this game is so stupid. But it's so awesome. It's stupid awesome, is what I mean. Stupid awesome. I totally mean that, too. I take back the stupid part. My problem is I spent half my life using stupid as a compliment. Like that time I said that's the stupidest name I've ever heard, and then I felt bad because I thought he might have taken it literally. When he made up a good name for me. When he changed my name from Flame Pillar to Blazing Column. With that perfect C. Uh, a column. A person can't be a column. When I was young and in school, they, we used to take these SAT tests, and they, like, had so many of them, too. But they always called them, like, the SAT battery tests or something. And I don't know why why they had the word battery in there. I was like, I don't know what the hell a battery has to do with it. Unless you're, like, battering, you know, me from being at home. You're battering my free will. But, <laughs> but what I used to do when I saw that was I used to look up at this other guy in the class who was named Art Thomas from South Side Estates. If you're out there, Hezbollah or something, I don't know. Anyway, I used to look at him and like the way his body from the shoulders down to the waist was the same shape as a battery. So it's like so it's like they were giving us the battery tests for a battery. Like it, I know that doesn't make an ounce of sense. I, I, I even hear myself say it and it's like, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the squashes guy. He's like, hmm? Yeah, because that don't make a damn bit of sense. It's a battery test for batteries. Here, wait, wait, no. Um, that's already taken care of, so. The funny thing about Art Thomas is later on in the ninth grade, I had a. I was in art class. And my art teacher was actually pregnant. Her name was Lindley Drinkard. If you're out there, Miss Lindley Drinkard, Hezbollah to you, too. I, don't, I think that's actually like a nasty word or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, um... <laughs> well, she was pregnant. She was asking us for suggestions for names for her baby. And I suggested Art Thomas because we were in art class. Everyone was suggesting, like, art names, you know. So I suggested Art Thomas. And keep in mind, I was a kid that, like, never spoke, right? Because I was back in school. I had shyness, anxiety, autism, whatever you want to call it. So I almost rarely ever spoke. But when she came out with the suggestions, I was so scared when she named off my suggestion that people were going to know it was me or something. So when she said Art Thomas, I was like, Man, who suggested that? That's a stupid name. I'm like, dude, you're just giving it away that that was yours. You're such an idiot. Oh. Who suggested Art Thomas? That's a stupid name. That's not a stupid name. It's just that I didn't want people to think it was mine because I was scared, you know. So I'm like, ooh, that's a stupid name. I was so stupid. I'm trying to use that reverse of psychology or something. I don't know. It's just stupid. It's lame ass is what it is. Nice thing about cattails is we don't have to use any of our TSPPs early on, which means we're building up a ton of sun here. And this is without even planting twin sunflowers yet. So, just keep up, let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Just wait till we get like three or four of them out there, then we'll really be kicking it. Hell, we could just use all cattails this level if we wanted to. We could do that. I mean, it is a pool level after all, right? Hell, we could do that on the fog level if we wanted to. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I like that idea, because I really can't stand the fog levels. Can't stand them. Here come up with cops like dogs. Dogs. Come on, guys, like dogs. You dogs. You youth league dogs don't stand a chance. 
just throw it. That's like the line I remember most from Final Fantasy X, too, is, You youth league dogs don't stand... He just says it so nonchalantly. Like, he has no problem at all calling a person a dog. Just like, You youth league dogs... But I think the first person, the first place that I originally heard that was in the movie Titanic. And he's like, I'll shoot you all like dogs! You know. Like, who shoots? Why, why are like dogs? Is it a common thing to shoot dogs or something? I mean, I guess if they're like rabbit or something, like old Yeller, you know. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. <laughs> old Yeller. <laughs> the poor little pooch. Uh, anyway. Here's another cattail. Speaking of cattails, get into dogs and cattails. Don't chase my cattails away, and don't take away my heaven in the names of, in the words of Aaron Neville. Sometimes my commentary is just so stupid, you know. Just gotta love it. Just gotta love it. I'm not sure whether to double these sunflowers here, because I might want to do something else with that. I'm not sure. We already got so much sun now. It's like. Oh, um, what was I on talking about? I was talking about Art Thomas, and then I got into something else. I don't know. My stupid reverse psychology. I was just so stupid. Mm. I'm trying to think, but I don't really think that anything is coming to my mind. So I guess I better take it up. Well, we don't really need that, I guess. Uh, we don't need anything. Cattails pretty much got us covered. We just put out like ten cattails, I guess. I don't know. The thing is, eventually, they would catch up to us, like, the cattails wouldn't be enough anymore. Because there's no splash damage, and you almost have to have that on these hard stages because of you know, how the zombies are all clumped together. And they can kill one zombie fairly fast, sure, but when you got 12 in a line like that, and that's, and that's just one row, well, then you're going to have a problem, so... You know, that's why I say, that's why I say, hey man, nice shot. That's why I may end up actually taking them out altogether, I don't know. I have to decide what we're gonna do. I don't know, I'm not sure. We may make a Corb, ca corb Cannon, I don't know, something. For now though, we'll just go ahead and put a sixth one out and then put something in front of them. Well, I don't really have much that I can put in front of them, but I haven't had to use a single TSPP, and look how much sun I got now. Just holy crap. So many projectiles going in so many different directions. The problem is, though, look how many of those projectiles go off the screen not hitting anything. You know, because the because originally when the projectile was released, it was aiming for that zombie. So if the zombie dies in between the time they shoot the projectile and the time it actually gets to him, it'll just go flying off of nowhere. You know, it won't, like, retarget itself onto another zombie, and that's the one disadvantage to the cattails. Is they be stupid. Like, watch this. All these are gonna go off now. There. Of course they don't take long to re-aim and reassess their targetry and their toiletry. You know, in the bathroom! Just had to. Just had to. Anyway. Yeah. to zombies. Good for the boot. Good for the boot. Oh, I was talking about, like, dogs. Yeah. I was trying to think of what I was talking about. I can't remember. <laughs> Um, uh, is it, maybe I need to do something here, um, <laughs> let's see, let's just see how it works out first. And see, this is a relatively small group of zombies compared to the ones that are going to be coming later, and look how much we're struggling to take them out, you know. That's why I say maybe, maybe the cattails are not as broken as I once thought of them, I'm going to take that out right there, because that's not going to work. <laughs> And this here, you can just do that. And kiss my butt. Okay, well, they got us through the first round, and we got 3,600 sun, so we've definitely got time to build something big here. But what are we going to build? What strategy shall we use this time? We've used this uh, Torchwood strategy enough already. I'm thinking about going back to Melon Pult. But at the same time, it almost seems too easy. Of course, then again, I mean, I don't know, we haven't tried that on a hard level yet. <laughs> I think I'll actually get Mushroom, Doom Shroom, and Coffee Bean, because there is, like, literally nothing else I'm gonna do here. 
Oh, uh, just melon pulse. I mean, huh. well, do we need sun? Not really. We'll use that. Uh, <laughs> just gotta keep in mind, however, that this is a daytime level, so those mushrooms are not gonna be, you know, an instant form of relief or release or any such thing. Mm, no balloon zombies yet? Okay, I guess we're good then. Even if we did have balloon zombies, the cattails will pop them, so we'll get walnuts. Or tall nuts. I keep calling those walnuts, but they're really tall nuts. Okay, so we're gonna dig up these sunflowers here. Sorry, guys. Just had to. And we're gonna start putting out some melon fault. Fortunately, these recharge very quickly, so... And uh, we just about made back all the sun that that thing costs now already. I'll just leave these alone until I intend to undo them. Which won't be long, yeah, 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 it won't be long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but if you ever hear me saying, like, come on, college like dogs, that's like a, an old meme of mine from one of my tapes. Because I would pull up, to, there was this really bad intersection up in Appleton, it's still there, actually. It's like on East College Avenue, there's a... If you get off of 441 on the East College, and you go about a half a mile up, there's an intersection there with a Motomart store. And then behind the Motomart, there's actually a movie theater, so there's like often lots of cars coming and going there. And across the street from the movie theater, there's like a big Lowe's store or something. Anyway, well, well, the thing is, you have to turn right, and then there's like an intersection just shortly up the road. It's way too close to to College Avenue itself to even be there, but like I don't even know why there's an intersection that close to College Avenue. It's, it's almost like a service road. It's, it's that close. So every time you're trying to pull off of this road, you have to look both ways. And this road is actually called something. I forget what it's called. It's not Van Roy Road, I think that's the road that's actually parallel to college, but the one that's like going north and south. I don't know what it's called. You think I'd remember that? I drove it so many times. I want to say Scott Street or something. It's like some five letter word. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure somebody will probably go map quest it and then tell me what it is. I don't know, but um, anyway, well, yeah, so you'd be trying to pull off of this parallel road. But it would be impossible to do it because there's constantly cars turning onto the road that you're trying to turn onto from college. So, so a lot of times I'd be making a tape in the car and I'd be looking both ways and I'd say, okay, you're not going to be... And, and I would notice that I had it the other way, so I'd have to look back towards college. And every time I would look back towards college, I would be like, okay, you're going to come off of college like dogs? You're going to come off of college like dogs? You know, like, a, like there's a whole bunch of them or something because you think of dogs as like there being a whole, well, you don't really think of dogs as there being a whole bunch of them, but it just seems like when there's too much of something, you say, there's... well, I guess that's what the guy in Titanic meant, too, though. He was like, I'm going to shoot you like dogs, because there's so many of you. Shoot you just to, to depopulate you or something. So I say, they're coming off cubs like dogs. I'm like, cubs like dogs. So, whatever. So college is actually like the name of the street, and that's what I'm talking about there. Yeah, we got us a good setup here. I like this a lot. I definitely do. As you can see, it's far from infallible, though. As we will be, as they are getting somewhere up in the screen. Which is why we're probably just going to do something really simple, like... Like put four melon pulps and then a walnut or something in front of them. So far, though, I mean, it's only the second, you know, of five rounds here, so... I wouldn't expect anything to get through this. I like how the cattails are pretty much sticking towards the middle, because that's where they need to be aiming, because everything else is pretty much covered, so... Yeah. I think chances are your closest zombie is probably going to be one of them in the pool, because that's the only two rows not getting shot at, so those are the two closest ones, and they always aim for the closest ones, so... So it works out good. And we're still building up sun, like, unbelievably, even with four sunflowers. Yeah, sure, they're twins, but still, there's only four of them. And I haven't had to use any TSPP, so, I mean, and this is, uh, obviously this works. For now. 
But even still, consider how many zombies we're putting off here, how many zombies we're actually killing. And this is only the second round of five, so... <laughs> What's gonna happen when we start seeing dolphin zombies and shit coming out here? It's gonna be in a world of hurt. It's gonna be the pain terrain of the century. Might as well go into the fourth I think I'm gonna... Well, do I need to? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not! <laughs> If we don't have to, let's not. I mean, let's save the sun. Save the sun. Save the clock tower. Yo, throw me a 50 there, will ya? Save the clock tower. Oh. Cubs win World Series against Miami? Yeah, who would have thunk it, huh? I wish I could go back in time and bet some money on the Cubs. Oh, I just bet Miami. Wait, what did you say? Wait, we got these on this level? Oh my god, and this is only the third round, too. I love it! 